Hi everyone, welcome to the Mind of Row page. So today I'm going to do a guided meditation, specifically a comedic guided meditation on Geb to help us get some energy of grounding and security to ground us in our higher purpose. My name is Ro, but you could also call me Ifa Titi Lyo or Oba Jaguna. So the last video I made was on colonial mentality. What is colonial mentality? Colonial mentality is the internalized attitude of ethnic or cultural inferiority felt by people as a result of colonization. If you are interested in watching that video, you could go ahead and check it out on my YouTube channel at Mind of Row. And if you really love all my videos, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I have more love and wisdom to share with you. I also have a TikTok and Instagram and a Twitter at Mind of Row. And I have a Facebook business page that is not this Facebook page that I'm speaking on. So by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, I always do live videos on Facebook and then I download it onto YouTube, by the way, if you're watching this. So I also have a Facebook business page that is at The Mind of Row, and I also have a Snapchat at Little Row Row 253. So this is actually my first video to a seven series I'm about to do on comedic meditations. So today I'm going to do a guided meditation and some chanting and invocation of the Netter Geb. Geb is the god of earth. And Kemet, Netur or Neturu basically means God. So before I get started, I'm, I'm actually going to just kind of give you some reasons on why you would want to invoke this energy within yourself and why you would want to meditate on this being. So I'm going to turn the camera around really quick. So when I do start the meditation, you could either stare at the flame in the image or you could close your eyes, whatever it is that you want to do. So give me one second while I turn it around. And when I turn it around, I'm going to give you a little explanation on why we're doing this meditation really quick. So this is my little Geb setup. It's very Gebby. I mean, I set this guys up for you. So you guys have something to look at. Why are you listening to the meditation? So why would you meditate on Geb? And why would you like to invoke the energy of Geb within yourself? I'm sure a lot of you who follow me, if you're very spiritual and conscious or woke, then I'm sure you've heard the saying of being able to be in touch with, with the God that is within yourself. Therefore, the next seven days, I'm going to share chants to help you invoke specific gods within yourself so you could be very godly yourself. So today, we're going to focus on Geb. Now, why Geb? Because you need health, food, water, oxygen, money, work, capital, and supportive friends, and a home to be successful in this life on earth. You also need all of this to be able to be spirit, to, to have the ability to have a spiritual development. Without earthly experiences, we cannot awaken our spiritual power. This is why we're right now. We're here to learn these these lessons. You can't reach higher than your roots. Re than your roots reach down. Therefore, if you want to ascend, you have to be able to have very grounded roots within the purpose that you're currently in, as in your physical purpose as well. As above, so below. So you see Earth as a prison. A lot of us see Earth as a prison. So to escape Geb's grasp, we must fulfill our physical purpose. We must rise above out of out of control sexual tendency, out of control emotions that are very animalistic in nature. This is the concept of ascension. And to gain the ability to control events, our bodies, and environment with the power of manifestation by commanding our will and our life force energy. So basically, this is a reason why we need to invoke the energy of Geb within our being is to help us be grounded within our physical purpose on this earth plane. I'm sure you met a whole lot of very spiritual people who cannot get their physical life together. So I share a lot of information on balancing our chakra centers. A lot of people who like to grow conscious have a bad habit of only believing you only have to do spiritual work to change your physical life and that's only half true we have work to do in this physical plane we have work to do in our physical body therefore the more grounded we are the higher we are going to be able to reach up so before i get started i want all of you watching this if you're going to meditate i'm about to start the meditation soon so if you want to go grab a blanket or grab a pillow light some incense or light some candles whatever it is that you need to do to go get comfortable 
I'll just give you a moment to go do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with deep abdominal breathing and what that means is you're going to take a breath in through your nose as far as far as you can and when you feel like you have reached your capacity of air that you can put in your lungs, I want you to breathe in even, even more and then you're going to let your breath out of your mouth as far as you can slowly and as soon as you think you have let all your breath out of your lungs, you're going to breathe out even more and it's normal for this to make you feel a little lightheaded, it's okay, you're not going to pass out, what it's doing is helping you relax and helping you get in touch with your physical body and helping you relax your busy mind, so go ahead and take a deep breath as far as you can. your mouth. Two more times on your own. Go ahead and return your breathing back to normal. And I want you to focus on the energy of the earth underneath you. So if you are sitting, even if you are upstairs and the earth feels a little more lower than you, I want you to take your awareness all the way down below you where the earth plane is at and focus on the energy of the earth and the planet that is below you. This is the physical plane that is supporting your beautiful body, it is supporting your life, it is supporting everything that you have and that you are. So go ahead and just focus your energy on the earth plane below you just for a moment. We're going to do three chants and it's Osh Hra. Again, it's going to be Osh Hra. Take a deep breath in and you're going to chant Osh Hra on the breath out. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Osh Hra. One more time on your own. And for every statement I say, I want you to either repeat it out loud or repeat it within your mind. Dua Geb. Dua Geb. Dua Geb. Dua Tep. Dua tep. Dua tep. I am healthy. I eat healthy. I am well fed. 
I am hydrated and nourished. I manifest my higher purpose with ease. I am grounded in my purpose here on earth. Money flows to me easily. Work and capital is always made available to me. I am fully energized. I am only surrounded by supportive people. My life force energy is powerful. I only focus on that which serves my highest good. I only focus on that which serves my highest good. I sit in stillness easily. Focus on the energy of the earth rising up your body. It's brown and it's red and it's warm. We're going to chant Ash Hara three more times. Take a deep breath in through your nose and chant Ash Hara on the breath out. Ash Hara. Ash Hara. time on your own. We'll do three more deep abdominal breathings. Breathe in deep through your nose as far as you can, then out your mouth as far as you can. Three times. Turn your breathing back to normal and just simply focus on the inflow and the outflow of your breath. Just be one with your body just for a moment. Be aware of the temperature that's touching your skin. Be aware of noises that are around you. 
And you ready, whenever you're ready, go ahead and slowly flutter your eyes open. Thank you everybody for tuning in. If you want to have this meditation be times 10, I have another video I made on Geb where you could give Geb offers. And what it is is feeding that energy to basically ask Geb for a favor to help you give something. Whatever it is that you lack of in regards to your physical life, you could either ask for physical healing, you could ask for maybe the energy to be able to make more money or maybe have a job opportunities be be brought to you anything that has to do with your, the physical plane sur survival type of things that you need to help with you could give geb some offers i will tag that video with this video and it would be good to feed geb prior to doing this meditation you don't have to because chanting works really good as well but if you would like to times that energy by, by, by 10 it is good to offer geb some food as well by talk by saying his name like how I said earlier by saying Dua Geb and even burying some food for him in the earth maybe near your home or in the forest whatever resonates with you he likes beans he likes eggs he likes rice any earthy type of food like that he like he likes to be offered to him bread as well so my next video is going to be on Het Haru who's also known as Hathor and that video is going to help bring stability to our emotions at, in, in regards to our emotional intelligence. It's this chant I'm going to do in my next video is actually really good for our ability to be able to create and our ability to be playful and have sweetness and joy in life and to be able to vibrate that energy. So the whole point of why we do chants is because we vibrate at a specific energy and when we vibe, what we vibrate out is what we attract in. So this is why we do chants to help um, adjust our energy so our energy is working for us and not against us this is what chanting is for so if you're not sure um how to spell ash hurrah i will tag or i will write it with this video as soon as i'm done with it it's spelled a u s h h r a u h ash hurrah and it works even better if you do it 108 times. You would get one of the mantra necklaces or mudra ne necklaces and use that to be able to chant this 108 times. If you do it that many times, it's going to give you that much power, that much energy in your life as well. So I would recommend to get one of these necklaces. I'll show you really quick what that looks like. Basically looks like this right here. As many beads as there are on the necklace is as many times you will chant that chant or any other chant that I'm about to share with you guys for the next few weeks. I'm not going to do all the guided meditations in a row. I'm going to do two guided meditations and I'll skip and do a regular video and, and now and then just so I'm having some other videos on my page as well. So if you haven't already yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Mind of Ro. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I have more wisdom and enlightenment to share with you. I hope everybody is having a very grounded, secure day today or night, wherever you are at. Hotep, peace, namaste, adabo.